So this is what it looks like when we're trying to book loads. Hey guys, Brendan here for Chuckle Wild TV, wishing you all to stay up, stay blessed. It has been a pretty awesome past couple of days. Um, I've been talking about stretching my legs for quite a while, and I got done with my contract at Blocks, ran the spot market through Amazon for a little bit, but um, I held true to my words, and I'm uh, stretching it out just to see what the other possibilities are. And I gotta tell you, uh, Amazon's a good thing, it's a safe thing, depending on the area that you're in, but now spreading my wings a little bit more uh, and actually staying out, uh, I was staying out, but I was sleeping in the truck to save on drive time and all this other stuff. Doing other things has definitely opened some doors for us over here at the Drop and Hook Gang. And uh, I'm super excited. Um, I ended up doing um, two nights down in New York City, uh, doing a rental for uh, CNN moving broadcasting trailers. Um, they rented the truck for 12 hours. Uh, it was Total, total miles for both nights was 212 miles uh, at the hourly rate, which would blow your mind. So I still have that same tank of fuel in the truck. And uh, I'm actually doing uh, another contract tomorrow. I'm gonna be picking up a uh, trailer and I'm gonna be doing some stuff along the way. So it's really cool. Uh, finally, I have full access to DAT, which has been really good. Um, a lot of loads on DAT, but also, too, there's some uh, scandalous brokers. I, I put a bid out today. I looked at something, not bid. I, I called up the uh, I called up the broker on it, and it was a dude from my area, so I thought it was good. Where uh, DAT said they were offering the load for eight twenty five, and it was power only load uh, for eight twenty five, and it said the average in that lane runs about seven ninety three. So I was like, all right, cool. So I, I got in touch with the broker, and it it, it took a little minute to, to get through different cell phones, this, emails back and forth. Finally get in touch with the guy. I made a mistake. Didn't confirm what it was. And all this, yeah, yeah, Raycon this, Raycon that. Uh, sent it over to the carrier. Carrier took care of it right away. And then I jumped in the shower, and I come out, and I'm looking at the instructions. And it was actually a brand new trailer move going from uh, New Jersey out to Massachusetts, which would have been perfect because I have to pick out, uh, pick up the next trailer out there in uh, Connecticut. So getting over to New England would have been good, paid for, put some money in the pocket, maybe hit the casino for the night. And I'm looking at the instructions and that E25 now on the Raycon says 525. So two lessons learned here. Whenever I see something on a load board, screenshot it right away. Because what happened was when I went back to look, the guy had already pulled it off the load board. It was gone, off the load board. So I called the carrier and said, hey, there's, there's an issue. I said, this one was supposed to be 825, it's now 525. And he said, oh, did you discuss it? And I said, straight up, no. The guy started with the Jazz, with the Raycon, everything. I never confirmed what, him, what, it, what it was. And I went back to the load board to see, because I'm not crazy. It said 825 for the run, or that lane, the average is 793. So, yeah, he goes and reposts it after I went back to look for it, wasn't there. Goes and reposts the load and then drops it down to 525. So two lessons learned. One screenshot, anything with a broker or someone that you're working with that you don't know, always screenshot it first, and then that's the first order of business. After you find out if the load's available or not available, confirm the, what the, the price is gonna be for that run. So I don't know if he heard the lack of experience in my voice or whatever it was, or maybe I was just too overzealous because it, it jived perfectly from where I needed to be and everything like that and I jumped on it I don't know but I can hold true to my responsibility in it one I didn't screenshot two I didn't confirm it when I got on the phone so live and learn so there's all experience here working with brokers so uh, I was spoiled for quite a long time with doing Amazon you don't talk to anyone it's going to a load board pretty much you know anyone could do it it's easy you know, but it's knowing the lanes and know, knowing what time, like, you know, rescues would pop up or all those load rescues and, and last minute, you know, uh, things where they would pop depending on the area that you're in. And that took quite the time of me studying the boards because every 30 seconds it updates and just learning. Even my dispatch squad was uh, getting to be really good at it. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. So it's actually, it's like I took the training wheels off by going out doing this and I'm going to be out OTR 
Uh, I spoke to to uh, Pony. Not that she even really cares, but I'm gonna be out running uh, probably next 30 to 40, going coast to coast except for California, and see what we could do. So I will uh, take you guys on the journey with me. And so many new subscribers, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate y'all. And there's uh, a lot of good YouTubers um, that, that I also follow and uh, take their advice, you know, because a lot of times when you take in accurate knowledge about a scope of practice or a craft that you're involved in, you learn a lot. So that's why I'm putting this message out here. What happened with me t today with DAT is basically when you see a load, screenshot it, then that's the first order of business. After you find out the load's available or not available, discuss the price. I, It didn't work out that way. He tried to jack me on $300. So then all of a sudden I was the bad guy and I have no reason to do anything. But it's funny how the load was posted for 825 and then took it off the board, then reposted it again at 525. So it made me feel a certain kind of way. So I know I have to protect myself and I don't want the same thing to happen to you guys. And I'm sure you guys have some horror stories um, being out there dealing with brokers and stuff like that. That's why I appreciate brokers like uh, James Best, you know, as a guy that was in the industry and now he's building it from the ground up. Um, that's someone that uh, you can uh, you can know is going to take care of you properly. But he tried to take such a piece out of me. He was probably making more on the load than I would have made at the, the end of the day. I guess that is the way. But it was an empty trailing move. So there's limited struggle because I did that with Star Freight. I, I do that for filler music. I'd go uh, Utility, Great Dane, um, Talbert, uh, Hyundai, Wabash, you know, going down the Tilly Yard and uh, San Bernardino. And just uh, always, always that great gain up there in um, Indiana, Terre Haute, always up there picking up trailers. But even back then, that was prior to the the virus stage. We were still getting four four dollars fifty cents a mile, but now power only seems to be a dying breed. So uh, the carrier offered to uh, actually do a a rental with me, or at least purchase on a trailer. I'm going to hold off on the trailer for now and see where the industry goes before I go getting underneath any crazy notes and we'll figure it out as we go. So I will definitely take you on the journey. Also, if you've ever had some issues with brokers, definitely leave it in the comments. I'd be very curious to see, uh, you know, I saw the I saw the mess today and it wasn't, it was bad. So take that from me to you. Screenshot it. Is the load available yet? Yeah. Discuss the price before you go any further. Because it's not easy for the carrier to get out there, sign the rate con, get the insurance certificates and all that stuff. You know, it's some work. So it was all for nothing and I apologize, man. I felt terrible, but I learned something very valuable and important. So I'm gonna take you on this journey with me and hopefully we can stay away from the white stuff, stay away from I-80, you know, and uh, we're gonna have a good run. So I'll definitely be in touch with you. And uh, yeah. If you had anything uh, crazy going on with brokers, let me know about it. I'd like to know. All right. And a very special thank you to all my subscribers and all you guys that stick through all the craziness I've been through and still going through. Um, I really appreciate y'all. But from the bottom of my heart to yours, uh, remember, always keep God first. Love your wife like it's her first and last date, even if she hates your guts. And I'm pretty sure everything else is coming to play. Truck Wild reporting from New York. Stay up, stay blessed. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.